at this time we'd like to recognize the new inductees into the USF Hall of Fame. For baseball, Scott Cousins goes in, a guy that's made it all the way to the major league level and name in the majors. He sure has. Jennifer Hartford, what she's done for cross country and track. Haley Carroll for women's volleyball, tremendous defensive player. Bill Neffel as a coach of women's basketball, and he had a tremendous run with teams that he guided to three straight NCAA appearances. Glenn Von Stratum, who scored 25 goals as a soccer star. Ed Thomas, one of the best defenders maybe in the history of men's basketball here on the hilltop, and of course, recognized as the dawn of the year for his uh, tremendous donations, uh, Roger Salquist. What an honor for them. It's a once in a lifetime experience to go into Hall of Fame. If you look at the makeup of our Hall of Fame class and the diversification of what it represents from Haley Carroll just a few years ago on our volleyball team to Scott Cousins that went on and, had, and continues to have a great pro career all the way to, to Ed Thomas and what he you know, represented here at the University of San Francisco back in the mid-60s. And then to, to cap all that off with honoring one, one of the great benefactors in, in USF history and a person that means so much to our department at Roger Salquist as Don of the Year. It really made for a special, special evening for USF Athletics. It's, it's a great feeling. I've, I've been on cloud nine for the last four months when I found out that I was inducted. It's one fantastic feeling. For me, it's the biggest accomplishment I've had in my baseball career. It's bigger than getting to the big leagues for me because of what this program means to me. Without Steve, the USF program would be nowhere. And Glenn fell under his tutoring and became a Hall of Famer. And no one deserves it better than Glenn. I can't think of a more deserving person in the history of our program to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And Jen was, without a doubt, one of the toughest athletes I've ever coached. She was super competitive but also mentally tough and she just worked really hard. You know Bill's very good at X's and O's and I just feel like he always had the team prepared. I think I'm most proud of just watching them develop and, and leaving the university hopefully uh, ready to, to make a name for themselves. Having skills to survive and, and doing more than survive actually thrive. Leaving USF and knowing that this team is now recognized in our conference and is a force to be reckoned with, and that started with, with our team. is a pretty cool feeling. I couldn't be more proud and thankful to, to give that back to the school that gave me my education, gave me the opportunity to play. So we have the chance to honor some amazing people this evening. Haley was special. There was no question in our mind when Haley was on, we were just a different team. She could change everything from the backcourt and play that position as well as I could ever remember anyone play in our league and one of the best in the country. That opportunity to stand on stage with my coach in front of my teammates and family and extended family, it was life-changing to know that I've accomplished something and that all these people are still standing by me and supporting me. You look at a guy like Scott Cousins in 2006 that actually carried this team to its first ever regional appearance. His ability to rally everybody, his toughness, I mean he just kind of embodied everything we wanted this program to look like from the inside out. And I really want to congratulate the other inductees. If you're feeling anywhere close to how I'm feeling right now, then you're on cloud nine. So congratulations to you all. After we won our first uh, West Coast Conference Championship title in 2009, I made three phone calls. The first phone call was to Jen Harford. She was the one athlete that I think embodied the same principles that that 2009 class had. I have great respect for Helen and I think with her leadership, I felt confident in what I was doing and I, did, I wouldn't let anything come between me and wanting to accomplish my goals. Roger Shelquist comes to our building and he sits in our offices and he's in 
engaged and he cares about our students who are Division I athletes on our campus. It's about the people like Roger Selquist that represent us all. But all I can tell you is that I'm overwhelmed just to be here tonight with all these phenomenal athletes, let alone to be recognized. Bill spent 20 years of his life here and to say thank you for what you did at USF for the athletic department and the student athletes who he coached and helped in other capacities. I couldn't be happier. For me, the university has been very, very wonderful and to think that they would honor me to be in the Hall of Fame is, it's, uh, it's kind of overwhelming actually. Glenn was a midfielder. He's like the quarterback. Those are the people that make the game. He had the size, speed, quickness, plus he's a nice person. It was such an honor uh, because I know what USF means to me. And I know what, what an impact it had on my whole life. I think Ed's connection to community, USF community, not only athletic, but as an individual, and what he's given back to the university is well deserved. Here at the University of San Francisco, it gave me the desire to be a better person and a better man. For all of you Hall of Famers, I want to say to you, thank you especially. It's what you did in your time at USF and what you continue to do to represent our institution that makes us so special.